Sarah Palin announced this week that she will not be running for the Republican nomination. Here to comment is our senior aggression analyst, Stacey McGonigal. Hi, John. Stacey, many pundits were convinced that Palin was going to run, but now it appears that she isn't. Is this a good move for Palin? This is another amazing move for Palin. She knows that change doesn't come from being in charge. Change comes from being a passive-aggressive bitch. Passive-aggressive? Yeah, I mean, why bother with all the paperwork and campaign fundraising when you can just sit back, crack open a course, and when shit hits the fan, you point and say, I told you so. Palin's becoming a backseat politician, constantly questioning your sense of direction, subtly insinuating that maybe we should have stopped off and grabbed a map, or wondering if you're really going to wear that shirt to her dad's retirement party. So you think that Palin is trying to get America to do what she wants by acting like an annoying girlfriend? Bitch, please. She's driving around in that One Nation bus, acting like it's just a coincidence that she's bumping into the GOP candidates. <laughs> yeah. Just how I accidentally showed up at an event where my ex-boyfriend may or may not have been getting married. She was very clear and adamant, though, that she would not be running. Yes, it. just how I'm adamant that when we go out, I pay half the bill. But who's paying that bill? Who's paying that bill, John? Me? Mm-hmm. I mean, why run in an election when you can just stand off to the side and tell everyone what they're doing is wrong? If she really wanted to tell Americans what to think, wouldn't it be better to have the platform of an election? She has a platform, John. It's the platform that all of America uses. Tweeting, live blogging, Facebooking, Tumblring, maybe even ICQing. I don't know, she's old. The point is, the president can't get anything done because he needs consensus from everyone. All Palin needs to do is get her followers to retweet that Obama smells like donkey shit and change has already started. So you think we're going to be seeing a lot more of Palin in this election? Only if she wants you to, and only wearing something sluttier than Michelle Bachman. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see then. Really, John? Is that, is that how you're going to end the segment? I mean, do you feel good about that? Is that... I, it, that's what it said in the script. Okay, well, if, that's, if you're happy, then, you know. I was happy with the script. Okay, yeah. then... Did you, did you get that suit? Did you pick that up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, if you like it, then it looks good. <laughs> okay, I, I think it looks good. Do you need now? a break, John? You, look, you know, you feel a little tired. I have felt tired. Yeah, too. the lights. Ugh, yeah, so hot, hot, right? Hot. Oh, so ugh. Four days a week. Right? Yeah, four, yeah. You know what? Maybe you need a five-minute break. I think you need a five-minute break. Oh, and you can just take yeah, over? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just take over. Why don't you go grab a, grab a coffee or something? I'll just take over. I'll do the interview for you. Okay. Great, you'll just take over then. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take over. The rest of the show? Yeah, I'll, I'll just take over the rest of the show. Okay, that sounds great. See, change has already started. Oh, that was a dupe. That was a dupe. That was a dupe. Dupe, John. Oh man, Stacy McGonigal, everyone.